Okay, the last time I did this, I knocked over the little measuring cup. No leaks, not even tiny, tiny bubbles. We're good at seven. Thank you, Ken. From Ken Small Engines, if I didn't say that already 42 times. So now we got a rebuilt carburetor. Okay, so here we're working on this Pioneer 500. And the inside of this tank is from another planet. Um, now that we have a better view of it, look at that. And that filter was not on a clip. That filter was just stuck to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Bruce Tank cleanup thing. But I'm going to take it to another level. I don't know the percentages. I'm going to dump my little bolts in there. I've got the vents to the tank blocked, right? And we'll just stick our little bolts in there. Get them out with a magnet. Whatever. It's a smaller tank than the big bridge tank. So that should do it. They're on the floor too, right? Now, I was told to use everything from methyl hydrate to acetone to paint thinner. But I'm going to go 50 50. Acetone and paint thinner. Lacquer thinner. Virusol. It's all within degrees the same stuff. Oops, excuse me, somebody stepped on a duck. Now I'm gonna just we're gonna go half and half. Because the acetone's expensive. Okay, I don't wanna I can spill I can spill the Varsol, but I cannot spill the acetone. Well, I did a bit. <laughs> there you go, be boat. And get that in there. And we're just going to try and dissolve that schmoo. You look it in the dictionary, schmoo. I don't like losing that much acetone, but they have stores. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in here now. I got a, I got this closed off. I got the gas line closed off. And I'm just going to shake the heck out of this and then leave it for a little while. Oh! Good! Let's just give it a shake first of all to see if we have any horrible leaks. Ha! Well that fell right out. I'm just gonna get a little piece of tape and tape this do hammer onto here. There we go. Ugh. I have no idea. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now let's check me out. Well, brand new overalls, eh? I've already got a hole in them. Okay, there we go, guys. And I got some work to do. So I'll be back after that soaks. Oh man, I hope I... I think one more good shake and we'll dump it. It's been a couple of hours. Alright, let's just see how bad the crud is coming out of here now. Oh, that hurt. Now I'm going to pour this off to the side because I don't want to get more stuff on my beautiful new overall. Oh, look at that. Okay. I think adding the... What did I add at the last? Methyl hydrate. Worked wonders. Okay, we're just going to dig these out of here. difference still not perfect but now that we know was it the third thing I added was the methyl hydrate I'm just going to go 100% methyl hydrate rinse in there now and we'll pour that into a dish as well doesn't matter what dish Let's do another rinse. This stuff's cheap. I'll give her the shakeroo. I can't believe that. Look at that. Get those goobers out of there. Put them on a rag. Our gookie rag. So out of the three, alcohol is the best to dissolve, which I'm going to use in tanks from now on. Good. We'll wash those in that old fuel over there. And now we're going to shake this again. I'll be back. Alright, methyl hydrate being removed, round one. Pour from the side, round two. Okay, how did we do now? Science class 101. Well, let's see. I can see into the corners now. But it's still gooey. Right down in there, we'll just take a scraping and see how we're doing. Oh, there's a bolt in there. Another one. 
They were up in the corners. Oh, that's almost perfect, you guys. Well, no. I'm going to do it again. Because I can kind of see now where the marks are. I'm actually going to change the fuel here pretty soon. Look at that. I'm just going to see if I can dump that out into this ugly one here. I got quite a few of the hard things out of there, eh? a little. Every little bit helps. Yes sir, Bob. Good. Pour a little bit more in there. Gas tank and go slurs again. I wonder if we should throw a few bolts in there. I don't know. Be back in a bit. Okay, that's the last take along with this. So, hey baby man, she's coming! Alright, well I just took the rewind off just to see how bad things are and I just took a little Varsol on a rag and wiped it up and I'm going to put this back on. The rope may be short. We'll deal with that Hence, another time. So now my objective is to get this running before my buddy gets here. At 4.30. So the first thing we need... I did a cheat there. Is some gas line, the same size as the stuff that came out. And I'm not worried about the interior diameter, I'm worried about the exterior diameter. But I do have some miscellaneous gas lines that I've been using for my pump. That'll do. I think this one will be long enough. So first thing we're going to do is get a wire and do this what I and do exactly what I did before. Come on, baby. Be my little friend. You can just see my finger getting poked there, couldn't you? There, that's what you want to hear. Crunch. Oh. Yeah, it's getting windy. Okay, so I need a little bit of silver on silver to wind this up with. There we go. A little bit of oil. Luby lube the hole. A little tiny bit of oil doesn't hurt anything. You can even put oil inside a carburetor to hold a spring or Whatever, right? I'll be right back. A little bit of oil on our gas line. Good. Take gas tank off for the last time. We pull this out. To find that black wire in there somewhere. There it is. Okay, hopefully my lesson will will go right here. You start the tip of the plastic in the hole, and then you just pull. And that's a nice tight fit. Mm 
Okay, so it was laying in there about that length. Well, let's just get our black rubber guy here and see. That was on the filter. And that broke off in the tank. That's pretty close. So now we got to find a filter for that bad boy. <clears throat> All right, he goes in there and we're done with him. If he lays in there nice. I could, I could take a little bit of slack out of there, just like the old one. I want him to lay in there. Perfect. All right. All right. I lobster and then I flounder. This goes back into the gas tank. It might be a evacuation pressure for the gas tank so it doesn't pressure up. Could be a one of 20 things, right? I think that's what it is. Because these tanks pressure up, they don't run very good. Back into its little hole right there. Right at the bottom of that white thing. Which is probably a filter. Or a one-way check valve. If it was electronics, it would be a diode. Good. Now, it gets interesting. Carburetor. Fuel line. Adjustments. Go like that. So I don't think we need too much fuel line here. I'm thinking... I always put a little more on than I should. <laughs> Typical goof, right? All right, so there's the carburetor sitting there. A little bit of gas line slack there. Give it a quarter of an inch and put her on. No, oh, I gotta take off a quarter of an inch. A little shot, shot of oil there. Put the gas line on. Just that happy little, happy little gas line on there. One more try. You got her, Cotter. You guessed her, Chester. Good. Now the hard part. We connect the carburetor up thus. Okay, so the carb's in, the gas line's on. I'm just putting this metal plate on now. I'll start it with my fingers if I can. There we go. Oh, I gotta get the throttle throttle dottle on. And I believe it hooks from the inside. Come on, get on there. I believe that's on. Now we just have to get that car did I wreck anything? Nope, we're good. Get that carburetor placed back on there. Fit on there now. Good. Good. Okay, what have we got left? Fuel. We need some fuel, and 
I think 15 of them's gonna work. Okay, this is crazy. I don't know when I turned the camera off last. I'm putting just a little bit of gear oil or chain oil, sorry, into the chain oil compartment. There's this one's uh, actually tubed in. There's no. Um, I don't think by looking with the flashlight that there is a uh, a tube or a line for that. I think it's accessible. Let's just tighten this up. I think it's accessible and maintained through that plug. And I think that should stay on there. Oh, some of them spin off. Doesn't look worn. It's had some maintenance done to it in the last little while. I'm just going to check on the computer to see what gas mix it is. All right, I just put a little bit of uh, my standard uh, two-stroke mix into here. And it's 50 to 1, but kind of mixed on the high levels of the lines. So it's probably 45 to 1, which I think on this position will be perfect. Ooh, it's a dirty little saw, eh? That's stop, that's run. You should be able to start it without the rest of the doodads. Because it's just a cover and blade and a blade and a thing. Okay, let's just... Now, I know I don't know how much of this rebuild you guys... Have, not rebuild, but service from death you guys have seen. We have a choke. Oh, we have to put the air cleaner on for that. That we can do. Huh. Oh, well, I'm going to just jerk on it a bit. Are we getting any fuel? Oh, fuel line kinky. Sounds like it's ready to go, though. Okay, try that again. up the idle just a little bit. Now we're going to check the leaks out. And we need a piece of wood. It's going to be the new down. This is the way it's been done by me for a few years. Okay. Now, screwing device. Oh man, I'm getting tired. Okay, now we're getting close. There we are. Are we in? Yes, we might be. OK, 
Yeah, that's about right. 